this is the perfect controller setup and here's how I know. I started playing Fortnite almost 6 years ago in Season 1 with a normal PS4 controller. A few seasons later I got my first paddles, then control freaks, then grips, and fast forward 25 Fortnite seasons later and I've tried basically every controller setup you can think of. The Pro Xbox controllers, the PS4s, the PS5s, all the weird little accessories, all of it. Then pair that with the hundreds of different controller settings I've tried. The fastest editors, the best aimers, FNCS winners, so many players. And after all of that experimenting, this is what I've landed on. My controller is a custom Cinch Gaming PS5 one. Features like the instant triggers and the swappable thumbsticks are cool, but the most important part of it are the four extra back buttons I can map to any button on the controller. Personally, I use these to sprint, jump, edit, and pull out my pickaxe. And it allows my thumbs to never have to move off the sticks during fights, which is a massive advantage. Lots of controllers are good. I like the Vitrix Gambit, the Scuff Reflex Pro, I'm happy with using a lot of them. But what sets this thing apart is the back button layout. For one, I like the feel of buttons more than paddles. They feel a lot more clicky and responsive. But most importantly, they're positioned so I can have one dedicated finger per back button. Meaning, it's really fast to click each and every button. My issue with a lot of the pro gaming controllers is that they position the back buttons or the back paddles in a way that you have to use your two middle fingers to click all four of the back paddles. So that means I have to click my sprint and jump with the same finger and then I have to click my edit and my pickaxe with the same finger. Which when you have to switch your finger between two different buttons, it automatically makes it slow. However, when you have a layout like this, it allows you to just keep one finger hovering above each button at all points. So it's never going to be slow to click. Because I like the controllers at Cinch Gaming so much, they actually gave my viewers a discount code, which is Carter2K at checkout. This is completely non-sponsored. It's just easily my favorite controller I've used. And now for the setting. I've tried Expo, I've tried non-advanced, every version of linear you can think of. If you name a known controller player, I've tried their set. And after the hundreds of combinations that I've tried, this is what I've landed on. We're not going to spend too much time in here because I've showed these settings off so many times in the past. I've been showing off the same settings for over seven months now because I have literally no reason to change them. They've worked absolutely perfectly for me. And the thing about settings is the more time you spend in them, the better the settings actually get. You build better muscle memory and it makes your mechanics way better. But those aren't the only things contributing to my perfect set. One other big thing to note is that I play with a controller, but on PC. So I get way less delay and much better performance compared to a console. And when I pair that with a quality cable and overclock my controller, it makes my controller perform that much better. With this setup, I head into game and the only thing that's usually holding me back is my ping being up in the 50s. Obviously ping in the 50s isn't the worst. There's people with ping so much worse than mine. But when you look at like any good player, their ping is usually below 20. But even with this slight disadvantage, I can still usually run some pretty solid games. Like right here, this guy has a shotgun. Bang, hit him with that. And let's go, the flapjack game came in clutch. Here we go, we got this guy. Bang, look at that. That guy fried me more than I thought he would, honestly. It's alright though. Whoa, bro, what is that? I'm not exactly sure what just happened right there. Bang, let's go. I can't lie, these players definitely came to play tonight. These are some solid players. Oh my, look at that piece control. I only have five elims right now, but I think every single player that I've killed has been pretty good. I also feel like there's not really a downside to these settings. I mean, like, every bit of aim from the sniper aim, like... I mean, this all the way down to the shotgun aim. Hello. Oh my. Even right there, I got placed in a weird spot. And I was still able to just spur the moment, lift my crosshair up, and hit that guy for a max damage pump shot. Bro, there's three people fighting over there. Get on my dinosaur and run. Oh, he's too tired to even run. Oh my. That was way too close. Bang and bang. I got the god positioning right now. Look at that. <laughs> How did I just win? Well, I was anticlimactic. For what a game that was. What a boring ending. <laughs> Take the little shots out of the sky. A little aim practice. Bam. Another max pump shot. 
finally seen a little AI action for the first time. The thing that's so important about keeping your thumbs on the sticks, which is what claw and paddles allows you to do. Let's just headshot that guy real quick. Oh, is that it allows you to do stuff like this, where you can side jump, accurately aim and shoot, and still catch yourself. Something like that exact move without claw or paddles is incredibly hard to do. And that's only one small fraction of it. You can also make your builds and edits more accurate because you never have to remove this right analog stick. So at every point of the game, you're ready to be aiming or editing or doing whatever. Like the average Fortnite player has gotten so good now that I think you can't really be that good at the game unless you play claw or paddles not to say it's impossible we've seen players like chaos gaming pull off the no claw no paddles thing successfully but honestly i think getting good on that is at least 10 times harder than just learning claw or getting a controller with paddles like you are just way better off i didn't even notice this guy what <laughs> that guy also hits his max damage bump shots. Dude, oh my god, there's so many slurs. I swear, my aim is just the worst when I'm going against other bad players. Whoa. Gotta get this zone, brother. I need those mats so bad. up a couple shots there no big deal Ooh, oh that was almost bad he got away look at that guy he got in the tree i'm impressed honestly that's like the worst possible way to end. I cannot end on that. Let's do some 1v1 build fights because I feel like in 1v1s, it really highlights my settings and especially my bond. And just exactly what you can do with a setup like this. Oh my. 108. Bang. Bro. <laughs> Bang. No. Oh. oh my. I think I'm going to end it on that one. That's like as best as I can get. That's absolute peak. So that is the perfect controller setup. Remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.